A very rare occurrence just happened in this episode of my love story. Goda admits he is dense. That right there is very rare to see in a main male character of a romance anime or manga. That is so unbelievable because usually when a character is dense, they don't realize they're dense and that's kind of the standard cliche when it comes to romance anime. And to see how Goda, even though he is dense, he admits he's dense, and then he goes over this density and tries to improve or he's not as dense in the, at the end of this episode, shows you how good of a character once again Goda is. Like, oh my god, he admits he's dense, and then he overcomes that. Well, he tries to overcome it, and he tries to understand that there's something going on with Yamato, and then you could kind of consider that he's not dense in that moment. So right there... One of the best moments I have seen recently in romance anime. That that right there is another prime example why this series is so damn good. That one scene was enough for me to say excellent episode. That just that one scene is enough for me to tell you right now that this is why Ori Monogatari is doing so fucking well and why so many are loving this series by Studio Madhouse. Because that's right there, just seeing some of these different scenes in these recent episodes that break the mold from standard shonen. We don't have a pretty boy main male character. We don't have the standard, you know, couple has to go for like 12 to 24 fucking episodes to even get together as boyfriend and girlfriend. And then you also have it where he admits that he is dense and then he tries to overcome that. I mean, there's just so many specific scenes in this series already that's already broken a lot of other romance series I have seen in the past like the progression with the romance in this series is way above countless and hundreds of series I have seen when it comes to the progression because this th this episode man is just too damn good it's, it's way too damn good like it's unfair with how good this series is like it's so unfair with how good Ore Monogatari really is as a romance series like it's going to be hard for a romance anime, another romance anime of this year, to really beat the quality of this series. Now, I'm not saying it can, can't be done. It can be done, but it's going to be hard because with what this series has been doing in these past couple episodes, it's destroying the standard cliche mold of romance anime. And that's going to be hard to beat. It's going to be hard because, I mean, think about it. Like, this is the fourth or fifth episode, and... This is going to be a total of 24 episodes. That's a lot of episodes for the series. And we've already had this amount of progression in just this short time frame. That, that, that's, that's incredible. It's really incredible seeing something like that. Especially with how this ending was done with Gota as a character. You know, realizing something is going on. Yamato is kind of hiding something from him. He's keying in on that. He's trying to figure out what it is. And also, he even makes something very mature. Like, he says something very mature in this episode. He's like... Oh, it doesn't really bug me. Like, you had the new sister that was introduced in this episode of Suna come in. And she's like, you know, she could be two-timing you and stuff like that behind your back. And then what Goda said was very mature. I, I don't know if I would have had the same standpoint as Goda as a person. But the way he said that, though, was just very mature the way he acted. He's like, yeah, if she was two-timing me, it wouldn't bug me. Because you could tell that she is really bothered about it, whatever this is that she's hiding. And so he realizes that if she was, let's say, two-time, which I highly doubt that's going on. But if she was he is kind of fine with it because she is obviously bothered by something and you would think if she was doing that she's bothered by it and so he knows that she feels like she's in the wrong and made a bad mistake so it just shows you he's not also the type of guy that just you know holds grudges and stuff like that so he's just a really good character to have as an MC for a romance he, he's so good he's so good he, he really is so, let's get into what we personally believe is going on here. So, what is this drama? Well, I don't know necessarily if I want to call it drama, because it doesn't feel like the standard drama with how, you know, a couple's going to break up, and then there's hard issues where they're going to spat and bitch at each other. It's not the standard argument we usually see, and I still expect something like that in this series, because, right? you know, that happens in everyday life. Even real life, spats like that happen. So, what is really going on? What is my theory when it comes to this? Personally, 
It's obvious it has something to do with a kiss, because there was two specific scenes in this episode that were focused on kissing. The first part of this episode, when you saw how they were in the train, and you had that scene where they were looking at each other, it kind of looked like, you know, she was getting prepared for a kiss. And then there was also a scene where Goda grabbed her hair and all that, getting a bug out of it, and you saw how she started blushing, and then she was probably expecting a kiss. Like, we know as the audience that she was expecting a kiss. So it makes me assume the reason why she's, you know, getting upset is because she feels like she's not pure-hearted because she is expecting a kiss. And, you know, he's so pure-hearted that he he's too, like, dense about that. So it just goes to show, I feel like that's the real reason why she is bugged. Because she realizes that she's thinking these different emotions that he's not thinking at the moment. Or she's probably getting upset because he's not wanting to progress forward with the relationship even further. Because all they've been really doing as a couple recently in these past couple episodes since they finally became a couple is eating food i mean let's really think about this okay besides being an official couple sharing phone numbers talking with each other and stuff like that the only real thing they've actually done together is eat sweets and every time they do you had asuna also there he's on the sidelines right right next to him and that can also interfere with a relationship it can so we'll have to see if that's going to play a huge role in the future that might be also a reason why she's upset that could possibly be part of the reason so yeah that's my theories when it comes to that overall though this episode of Ore Monogatari beautiful from start to finish great animation great music and I mean seriously th this series continues to impress me by the week especially with how it uses some of these cliches and just breaks them in half so tell me your thoughts what was your favorite moment you all have a wonderful day or night wherever you live please be safe she be out